So, hi guys, I hope you've all had a good week. Well, being a Friday, it's time for an Unraid tutorial. And this tutorial is about replacing or upgrading a hard drive in your Unraid servers array. There's also a companion video that goes along with this one that's all about pre-clearing your disks. Cracky. Okay guys, so let's talk about changing and rebuilding a hard drive on your Unraid server. Now there's two situations where we might have to do this. And the first situation is, we may be looking at our server today, we're very very happy with it, and then we wake up tomorrow and the worst has happened. We've lost a hard drive, a hard drive's failed. Well let's hope it doesn't look quite as bad as this one, so we're going to have to swap out the hard drive and change it for another. Well, another reason we might want to change a hard drive is we don't have any more SATA ports on our server and we want to make the array larger. So what we can do is we can swap out one of our drives and put in a larger hard drive in its place. The size of the array in this example is 15 terabytes and that's the sum of the data drives added up together. The parity drive here is 8 terabytes and that isn't included in the actual size of the array. And the size of the parity drive is important because we can't go beyond what the size of the parity drive is when we replace another one of the data drives. So for this example here, we couldn't put a data drive in that's larger than 8 terabytes. So trying to add this 10 terabyte hard drive into our array just wouldn't work. But what you could do is you could upgrade the parity drive to a 10 terabyte drive and then from that point on you could then be able to upgrade all the other data drives up to the capacity of 10 terabytes as well. So back to our example of the 15 terabyte array, if we swapped out one of these 5 terabyte drives and replaced it for a 6, we'd then have a total capacity of 16 terabytes. So those are the two reasons which you may want to replace a hard drive in your server. And I want to replace a hard drive in my server, and my reason is actually for a combination of those two reasons. If you look down here, I've got an unassigned drive which I pass through to my VMs in order to store my gaming data on. And this hard drive now is beginning to fail. Looking at the smart report for this drive, it says that I've got 224 reallocated sector count. So this drive really needs to be changed. So what I thought I'd do is rather than just replacing the one terabyte drive, I thought I'd buy a three terabyte drive and replace this two terabyte drive in my array. And after having replaced this with the three terabyte drive, I could then move the two terabyte drive and replace the unassigned drive with a two terabyte drive. And so this will be good because it will give me one terabyte extra in my array and one terabyte extra on my unassigned drive I use for my gaming VMs. Okay, good. So enough with all the explanations of why you might want to change your hard drive and why I might want to change my hard drive. So let's just get started and I'll show you how to change your drive and rebuild it in Unraid. Okay, so the first thing to do is to pre-clear the new drive that you're going to be putting into your system. Now, if you don't know how to do this, then please see my other video on pre-clearing disks. Now, you can skip this section, but I really, really would advise you to pre-clear your disk before putting it into your server. And as you can see, I've already pre-cleared this 3 terabyte disk, ready to replace my drive. Okay, so I'm going to replace this 2 terabyte disk. This disk 4 here is going to be replaced with the 3 terabyte drive. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the server and then I'm going to take out the SATA cable out of disk 4 and remove the drive and then restart up the server. Okay, so I've pulled out the SATA cable and restarted the array and you can see here now I've got a red cross saying that this drive is missing. So to replace this disk with our three terabyte disk that we've just pre-cleared, we just select it from the drop down box and click onto it. Okay, so now it's selected, you can still see it says that the other drive is missing, that doesn't matter. So now what we're gonna do is just scroll down to the bottom and if you see here, it says replacement disk is installed. And you'll see here, it says start will start a parity sync and or a data rebuild. And then you just click the little box underneath and then click on start. 
then this will start the rebuild process, rebuilding the data onto the disk we just replaced from the parity and the data on the other drives. OK, so the rebuild process has started. If you see here, it says the percent and how far it's through. And you'll also notice up here that there's an orange triangle next to the drive. This triangle means the contents aren't actually being read from the drive, but they're being emulated from a combination of the parity and the other data drives. And because these items are emulated, I can actually still access all what used to be on this drive, even though it's not there, on any share on my array, even while the disk is being rebuilt. So if we scroll down to the bottom of the page, we can see the various statistics about the rebuild. We are rebuilding onto a three terabyte drive. It also tells us the elapsed time or how long the rebuild has been going on for. It tells us the current position or how much data it's actually rebuilt. And it also tells us the transfer speed of the data. And then it gives us an estimation of how long the rebuild is going to take. It says 14 hours here, but I'm sure it's actually going to be a lot quicker because the data rate will probably pick up. Ah, OK, yes, you can see now it's been running nine minutes and it's given me an estimated time now of just over five hours. So we'll see later if that's right. So we're at the five hour mark now, but it says it's going to take an extra one hour, 22 minutes. So we'll come back then and see how it's doing. And so, yeah, nearly finished now. We're at the seven hour mark and we've only got seven minutes left. OK, great. So the rebuild's finished. That only took seven hours to rebuild that disk. And now you can see my disk 4, there's no triangle there. Um, everything's absolutely fine. You can see that it's three terabytes and I've got about one and a half terabytes free. So anyway, guys, that's how you rebuild a disk in Unraid. I hope you found the video useful. And if you liked it then, guys, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to subscribe. And anyway, guys, whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good. And I'll catch you all in the next video.